is power. It has the capacity to create and destroy, manipulate and transform. It can shatter the very laws that govern each world. The infinite planes of the multiverse are home to countless mages. Yet for all their mastery over their craft, they are each bound to their own planes of reality, blind to the true vastness of the multiverse. But some mages are born with a potential for more. The spark, this gift realized only upon facing a great ordeal. Once ignited, it allows the mage to travel between planes and draw from each plane's magic to reach heights of power otherwise impossible to achieve. They can begin their journey as a planeswalker. Hello everyone, this is Zanza, back with another episode of Magic Duels. This time, we will be continuing Liliana's story. We will be taking on whatever this thing is. Let's get started. After the destruction of the Foundry, completely accidental, but admittedly due to your fire magic, you and your family flee to the countryside to hide from Baral. The, cr the wild creatures out here scare you at first. But you soon realize that a beast attack is just another chance to practice your pyromancy. Okay, let's get started. Let's see now. So we play first. I'm gonna draw a new hand. Yeah, why not? Okay. Their turn. Okay, we draw. Still nothing useful. Three damage. Okay. Okay, we can get a uh, creature out now, and it has haste, and so as such, we can attack immediately for two damage. Crap. That's not good. Oh, well, okay then. So this is a whenever this thing blocks, it gets plus two plus two. So we need for it not to block our attacks. It attacks with uh, the two one. I think it said it had. No, wait, it doesn't have life link. It has death touch. Okay, let's do one, two, three. Just completely clear that side of the playing field. Okay, let's see this thing. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control five more lands, put four one one counters on it. Holy crap. Wow, that's not good. I believe that stacks. Let's see. Ooh okay, so... 
all of our attacks are going to do one more damage now because of this massive thing. Never gotten that card before. So, we did three damage instead. Wish there was a way to speed this up. Scavenging... Ooh. Okay, so he's gonna lag the game hard. Not going to attack with anything, which is smart. Um, so either I could play this, but it could be killed, or I could use, yeah, or I could use this. We'll attack with both of these. And so that thing is going to die. But, but. Does that thing not have trample? I thought it said it had trample. Uh. Oh, wait, maybe it did trample. Oh, crap. Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why'd you just gain four life? Well, it's because you got that card out on the field, that's why. Um. Okay, yeah, bye. Again. Well, he's dead. He is much dead. Okay. Took him out. Maybe it's not too bad being on the lamb. You've been tangling with beasts and honing your pyromancy, and your family has found a comfortable village to stay in. As long as Barrel's forces don't catch your trail, Maybe even a wanted pyromancer can enjoy a bit of freedom. Highly doubt it. But, I'll be finding out about that next time. See you guys then.